Oh, he didn't block that. Well, go to turn and block it yourself. But <laughs> I'm, I'll just play. <laughs> All right, we got a great <laughs> set coming up. I mean, tournament nerves are a thing. You know, sometimes when you're in the limelight, when you know you're on stream, you yeah. do perform a little differently. It'd be like simple stuff, like he got grabbed at zero and just got thrown. Yeah, like, oh, uh, oh, he down smashed me on block. Maybe I can punish this with another down smash. That's really <laughs> and start up. Yeah, sometimes like those things do escape you early on. <laughs> but uh, all right, we're about to see Shugo and. Nairo, Nairo going Zelda first. He was just talking to me right now. He didn't actually know what character he wanted to go versus Shugo. Oh. So, all right. Uh, future one quick life. Here we go. Song is vastly improved in this version to the point of now being, you know, a tournament threat of a character, as opposed to just kind of being that gimmicky character from Brawl. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're right about that. Yeah, it's going to be hard for a character like Zelda to deal with that constant pressure of Sonic with those spin dashes in my opinion uh, a lot of times characters uh, will fight against that with a, a really strong out of shield option or some kind of uh, just hit walling hitbox that they, they can put in front of them the only thing I can really see Zelda doing is either trying to combat it with a dense fire or with like a forward smash or something, but that's a little risky. Yeah, the forward smash is not too, you know, too safe. I mean, it does completely stuff Sonic side B in the face, but it's now it's sort of playing the who's like the quick draw. Who's gonna go first? Who's yeah. gonna launch that first? And Booker Sonic does. wins that most of the time. Ooh! And but he's like, I don't care. I'm gonna put my high heel right in the back of your head <laughs> and spike you. What an amazing down there by Nairo. Let's see. Ooh, see, yeah, that side. See the side B. If, it, if Sonic just runs past it, Sonic just has free game. Yeah. You can, mm -hmm. can walk up, like even like you know, grab a soda, take a drink, and then just do like an F smash while Zelda's still recovering. Yeah. Yeah, it's, de it's definitely right, man. It's a, it's really risky to try and throw something out against Sonic, especially before he dashes. So if he's just sitting there charging it up. You have to be patient. I honestly think that when he st when he starts dashing, when you want to kind of trick up the Sonic himself and start approaching towards him as he approaches you, because now you just change your spot from where you were, and he has to go, okay, now to recalculate this. I mean, as the game goes on, people are going to be a lot better at that, but you still want to, you know, trick your opponent up a little bit. Don't just stand still, because if you stand still, all you're doing is your opponent's just waiting for you to move. Like, if you move around, like, even just hop around a little bit, like, you know, short hop, just kind of... You know, use the platforms to your advantage. You won't get stuffed by that so easily. And the pivot F smashes does kill Myro. Yeah, I mean, against Sonic, you really either want to be in his face or far away. If you're in that mid range, it's going to be so hard to react to Sonic. Nice stuff. jab reset. So, yeah, it's it's going to be rough to react to Sonic stuff. So he'll get free damage like that at the mid range game. Oh. It's really rough. And there's the up B. Very nice by Nairo. He really, up a full stop. I really like that um uh, that new up B that can kill. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, it's so cool. Now that the first hit does that pop up, and them and it's kind of cool that the move actually kills. That was really good by Shugo. That's textbook Sonic right there. At low percentage, you get the spin dash, and as you make contact with your opponent, you footstool them. You cannot tech footstools. So Sonics will do that off the footstool, start the dash again, and try and reset that situation by doing it over and over, maybe two or three times. And that's literally guaranteed Ooh. damage. A big charge up though, and that's a guaranteed death, and Nairo just yeah, felt a, that one. A lot of players are still into that brawl. They've been playing brawl for years that have happened like, oh, let me just air dodge into the ground and then shield, but that's completely yep. unsafe in this yep. game. It's gone. It's, it's gone, and sometimes it's, it's you know, playing so much, it's still just kind of, you know, ingrained in you. It's a new game, but you're still, like, that you know, that brawl mentality. Nairo trying to combat. So Sonic spin dashes to jump out of the end of it with the neutral air, but he can't really seem to get the spacing on it. Another sweet spot of there. The high heels definitely coming into play. What's your opinion on uh, Nairo's? Not Nairo's love. Um, uh, what's the what's the neutral being Nairo's love? Yeah, Nairo's love. Uh, to use that for like against the spin dashes. I mean, it, I don't think it sends him far enough. I think that actually might be minus one hit. 
but it does kind of cover everything. If just not zipping around you, you want to get into that position where you just have a, a hitbox. But I think Jump Nair does do that exact same thing. Yeah, and it, and it gets you off off of your base when you do Jump Nair. You're being mobile like you spoke about before. Uh, Naira's love will just keep you in spot stationary so Sonic can kind of like react to that and and do his thing. But if you jump back Nair, maybe retreating there too. If Sonic is approaching with Spin Dash, you can probably get a lot out of that. Retreating options against Sonic are pretty strong, especially when he commits to using that speed and using that forward approach. So... Doing Ooh. those retreating options. Okay, just go good. for the F smash, but Zelda comes out just slightly enough to, you know, take out Shugo with that F smash. Yeah, Nairo winning game one with Zelda. It was pretty close. It could have gone either way. Yeah. Yeah, a few hits here and there. And it was a wrap. There it goes. Uh oh. You good? Chivo's like, what? 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 What game is this? Is this Melee? Nope. Oh. Yo, Chivo. Which one? So we got game two. What's the issue? I just missed that. FD. FD. Okay. I am so comfortable right now. I'm, look how I'm sitting. I'm, I'm pretty. It's it's pretty. I'm hot so here. comfortable. I I sleep like this too with my arms on my head. Like you this. sleep standing up, sitting up. No, like <laughs> with my arms up on my head. So both players do stay the same character. I'm. What's your opinion on like when they do this in the beginning of the match, uh, waiting for them to SD, that both players can have free room to just move around, reposition? I'm not sure about that. Uh, I mean the neutral start thing doesn't bother me too much. It's the time off the clock. Yeah, there, there's there's been like there's um been two games that I saw last time we were here at Hitbox that they did go to time and it was like last hit someone going for that like last damage mm -hmm. and like at the ten seconds could have made a huge difference. Yeah, for sure. Oh, very nice by Nairo. And making the read on the down there cancel. Now, how long does Zelda have a recovery on that uh, projectile? On the Phantom? Yeah. Uh, it's not too, too long. Um, it's a lot faster when the Phantom isn't destroyed. If you destroy the Phantom, then... Ooh, it go to that. That kill set up. Yeah, nice. That falling neutral air into the up B. In Brawl, Zelda had combos with falling neutral air into like uh, up smash, up tilt maybe. Didn't they nerf so. up smash in this game? Uh, yeah, I think so. Because that was a pretty good move for Zelda in Brawl. Yeah, it was one of her best moves. Zelda's smashes are pretty good. Her tilts did need some work. Ooh. I do kind of like how that side beat, that, um, that Phantom does, um, disrupt, uh, Shugo's movement, as when Sonic hits that, he starts slowing down, starts making hits. Yep. Yeah, it's a good point. That Phantom really stuffs a lot of attacks. Mostly, uh, projectiles it's used for, but also can just force your opponent to have to rethink their approach because they just can't move through that wall of Phantom. <laughs> that wall of armor right there. Yeah. It does look like Nairo is going for reads on Shugo. Shugo's trying to cover, does get another up B, doesn't quite kill him yet. Goes for the Din's Fire. Sour spot there, we're gonna see Nairo do up, up, B. oh, he's not gonna do <laughs> two up Bs to kill him. Ooh, it does fake Shugo out by just standing in place with it. Oh wow, the Phantom was destroyed right there. So we won't be expecting to see that anytime soon. Oh, when it's destroyed, it does have a longer cooldown. Oh, that would be a kill again. That that kills pretty. Er that kills pretty early. Yeah. Like I think it kills like what? Like like 100, 105? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, but it's not just a little lighter. It might actually kill a little yeah, more. It's pretty early for this game standards, for sure.
Alright, Shugo trying to find his way in and start taking the stocks. Gets a back air with Nairo lives. Ooh, right too much. Wow. Ooh, I Hypno smash, got him. Sometimes just charging up. Some people's initial reactions are, I'm not gonna charge, she's not gonna charge that. I'm just gonna spot dodge this and I'm gonna punish. Then they just continue holding it and then your spot dodge is over and you get stuffed in the face by a kill move. Huh, Nairo just walking to the other side of the stage. Very confident. Not yeah, converting off of that down there though. Yeah, Nairo's up a stock. I feel like Nairo's just kinda like going for the like going for the flash, like <laughs> going for those combos again. Oh wow. Nice by Nairo using that phantom. Eating all of those hits. Ooh, that was a perfect shoot. Perfect shield. Sweet spot. Nairo does have a very convincing lead. It can turn around if Shugo does kind of mix it up a little bit. Though it looks like Nairo does have that Sonic game figured out. Shugo goes to the down throw, goes for the follow grab though. Nairo does jump out of it. Nairo gets the down smash. Goes for that up air nice. and that will completely seal the set. Yeah, that was really good by Nairo. Great adjustments. Just putting a pressure on and getting those kills. Very, very well done.